Hi everyone, in this video we will be solving the fifth question from the lead code pattern website under the two pointer section. So let's start with the problem. So this is the problem statement that we are given an array of integers nums containing n plus one integers where each integer is in the range one to n inclusive, right? And there is only one repeated number in the nums array. You must solve the problem without modifying the array nums and use only constant extra space. So this is an important constraint which makes this problem a little bit difficult so let's start let's look at this example so this is our array and we can see that we have two repeated twice here so this is the answer now let's look how we can arrive on a solution for this so one easy way a uh, brute force way to solve is uh, using order and square time complexity so what we do in that uh, for each element we check all the other elements and if we find the same elements then we return that element so that will uh, take order n square in worst case now let's uh, think about optimizing this using two pointers so let's say that since we have this important constraint that we have elements one to n inclusive so we can do something with that so if we try to build up let's say we try to build a link list as follows that initially we start with the first element which is one and then one from one we go to the index one so we go right here so from one to index one we have three right here and from three we go to the index three that means here which will be two and the index of two is three and the index of three was one and this is zero then from two we go here so that will be four and then from four we will go to this index since this is four and this is four we go here which is two and from two we again go to four right uh, since this is index 2 we go back to 4 so we establish this link so we can see that uh, in this link list we have a cycle here and one very important observation we can make from this is that there are two elements which are pointing to same element in this link list or a node in this link list so this 2 is pointing to 4 and this one and this one is also pointing to 4 that means from where we are getting this link so this is coming from two and this link this one so this link is coming from two as well that means two was present twice in the whole array so that is our answer so that is the duplicate element so this is how we can think about this problem now arriving directly at the solution for this problem if you haven't seen it before is a little bit tricky it can say, uh, take a lot of time but this is the intuition behind it that there are two elements which are pointing to same node so whichever node that is uh, that is our answer the duplicate element so let's look how we can so now this problem is reduced into finding where the cycle begins right so here we have the point where the cycle begins and whatever the index of that element is uh, here it is two that means two was the element uh, from which we came to this node so two is the element two is the answer so in the link list section we have a problem called uh, finding the beginning of cycle so we will use that same approach so let's see how that approach works so we have our link list here and all the elements and there is the cycle so we keep two pointers one will be a slow pointer and other one will be a fast pointer so, uh, so the slow pointer is pointing to the first element and it is pointing to the second element now the thing is that the slow pointer will move only one step at a time and the fast pointer will move two step at a time so it will come to four here now again slow pointer will move to one uh, since uh, fast uh, since there is a cycle so the fast pointer will move here and then here two steps so it will return back to four now the slow pointer and fi uh, fast pointer are equal so what we do is we reset the fast pointer and move it to the zero we make it zero we reset it to zero so it doesn't point to anything right now and then we move both of these pointer one step at a time right so one step one step one step and here we see that the slow pointer is pointing to two and the fast pointer is also pointing to two here so in this case we just break out of the loop and we return whatever the slow pointer or the fast pointer is pointing since they are both pointing to the same element so we return that uh, value of that element which is 2 which is the answer as we can see here the output is 2 now let's uh, write the code for this so we can start with a base case where the size of our array is less than or equal to 1 since there is either 1 or the no element there is no duplicate element in that case so we just return minus one now we create a fast pointer which will be nums of 
nums of 0 and we create a slow pointer which will be nums of 0. Now the same condition we described that fast pointer should not be or I'll write slow pointer first. Slow, uh, slow pointer is not equal to fast pointer and we move the slow pointer one step at a time nums of slow pointer and the fast pointer will be also moving one step at a time. So fast pointer equal to nums of nums of fast pointer and now we reset so reset fast pointer so we make fp equal to zero and again the same condition slow pointer should not be equal to the first pointer now after this reset we move both of the pointer one step at a time so the slow pointer will be nums of slow pointer and the first pointer will be nums of first pointer and now here we can return any one of those pointer so we are returning the slope pointer here. So this is our solution. Now let me copy it and paste it on the website. Let's try to run this code on the sample case. So this is running fine and giving output as two. Let's try to submit. So we can see that solution is passing and we can see the percentage here as well. So I hope uh, this question was clear to you. And if this video helped, do it on the like button and please subscribe to the channel. Thank you.